Weeks after sailing warships around Japan's main island, the Chinese and Russian militaries have sent bomber flights into Japanese and South Korean air defense zones, forcing Seoul to scramble its fighter jets in response. In Tokyo Japan's Defense Minister Kishinobuo met reporters to express grave concern over the joint patrols, which took place last week, saying Beijing and Moscow's moves clearly indicate that the security situation surrounding Japan is growing more severe. As he spoke, his Chinese and Russian counterparts were holding virtual talks, where they lauded the air and naval drills as major events, and inked a new pact to further deepen defense ties. The roadmap, signed by Russian and Chinese defense ministers, has an unprecedented growth in military cooperation, including large scale war games in China's Ningxia in August. When Russian troops became the first foreign forces to join a regular Chinese drill, as well as announcements to jointly develop military helicopters, missile attack, warning systems, and even a research station on the moon. It's the strongest, closest, and best relationship that the two countries have had since at least the mid-1950s, and possibly ever," said Nigel Gould Davis, senior fellow for Russia and Eurasia at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, noting that China-Russia relations have historically been marked by mutual wariness including a border conflict in the 1960s, that reportedly pushed Beijing and Moscow to the brink of nuclear war, Gould Davis said, the current state of affairs is exceptional. Ties have developed very rapidly, really within the past 10 years, he said, accelerating in the wake of Western sanctions on Russia over its annexation of Crimea in 2014. It is not only on defense that the two have moved closer, but also on the diplomatic and economic fronts, on foreign policy, Beijing and Moscow share similar approaches to Iran, Syria, and Venezuela, and recently revived a push to lift United Nations sanctions on North Korea. China's President Xi Jinping and Russia's Vladimir Putin have a personal rapport, too, having met more than 30 times since 2013. The Chinese leader has even called Putin his best friend. U.S. actions in this regard, he said, include branding the two countries as its biggest national security threats the imposition of sanctions over alleged human rights abuses, as well as the forging of what Beijing and Moscow view as anti-Russia-China alliances. These include the Quad, an informal U.S.-led alliance, that includes India, Japan, and Australia. The group, which China has denounced as an Asian NATO, resumed naval drills last year for the first time in 13 years. The four navies expanded the exercises this year, by holding them in two phases in the Philippine Sea and in the Bay of Bengal. Then there is the newly formed security alliance between Australia, the United Kingdom, and the U.S., known as the AUKUS, announcing the trilateral pact in September, the U.S. and U.K. said, Australia will get nuclear-powered submarines, a move analysts said, would allow the Australian Navy to patrol the disputed waters of the South China Sea, as well as the Taiwan Strait. China condemned the alliance, as an extremely irresponsible, threat to regional stability, while Russia called it, a great challenge, to the international nuclear non-proliferation regime. That creates geopolitical stalemate, which seems impossible to overcome whatsoever, he said, leaving all powers to accumulate their might, for worst-case scenario by simultaneously testing each other's red lines, with dangerous pinprick-like local face-offs. Stay tuned for the latest news.